Right, welcome back to my channel. As you can probably hear in my voice, uh, I've been quite unwell. I've had the man flu. I've still got a, a little bit of the cold and the sore throat. I literally, you know that little dangly bit in the back of your throat? I had a mouth ulcer right on that. It's almost gone. Thanks for some uh, for some drugs. It's it's uh, it's starting to shrink and it's going. So for a couple of weeks, I've not done a live. I went up to the Midlands to to see my dad that was in um, in hospital. I got some kind of a bug up there. So since then, I've literally been on this sofa behind me. I've not been sleeping upstairs with the wife or nothing. Everyone in the house has had this bug in some way, shape, or form. So I do apologise. No videos and no lives, but. So I'm just going to do this, um, I don't want to go outside in the freezing cold because I think it will knock me back again. So I'm just going to do a Rick, a, uh, Rick? a, uh, a quick beard mail um, and tell you about some, some little projects I've got coming up in the future. So if you're interested, stick around. Uh, if not, then I'll see you in a later video or a live or something like that that, uh, that might inter you might be more interested in. <laughs> so... First of all, a couple of videos that are coming up before I go into the, the beard mail. Um, my brother gave me this uh, this Jack Daniels bottle, empty, of course, because I don't drink. I'm not saying you don't have don't need to drink. I'm, I'm not against drinking. I just don't drink because um, I just can't handle my alcohol. <laughs> I don't like the feeling of it. Plus, I'm a full-time carer. If I'm drunk, who's going to look after the missus? Anyway, so apparently this was a quite a expensive bottle of Jack Daniels. It's got Jack Daniels um, embossed on the front. It's really heavy. It's got a real thick base. Uh, but the thing I liked about this was the actual cork itself. is It's a cork. But it's got a wooden um, top to it. And in there is, is a Jack Daniels brass penny. I don't know if you can see that on camera. I really wanted to uh, to make some up from this. Keeping hold of this, um, this penny thing. So what I've decided to do is I, I was hunting around some uh, some charity shops. Because I was thinking... This will make a really nice um, table lamp. So I had a hunt around charity shops for some, uh, so for an old light because I wanted it to look antiquey, like a, a copper fitting. Uh, first of all, I looked in B and Q and stuff like that, but they didn't have any copper fitting lights. They looked too new. So I went around the charity shops and I found one, and this is um. This one turned out quite nice. It was like four quid, and I much I always prefer to use uh, and to repurpose things. If you know me, you'll know I like to repurpose. It's not about scrimping and saving. It's like it's about not chucking in loads of stuff in the landfill. Anyway, so I found this uh, this lamp. It's 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 not really old, uh, but it looks old. Um, it's like a brass fitting. There's a long tube which I'm hoping that I can bend um, and come out of the bottom. So the tube will go down the centre and then it'll come out at an angle and pop out the back there. And I'll clip it off. Um, oops. <laughs> uh, and I'll I'll repurpose. I'll use all these little bits and pieces to go with it as well. Uh, I'm not even going to polish it up because I think the tarnished brass is going to look so nice with this bottle and the Jack Daniels um, so that's that and obviously I thought to myself what am I going to do with this lovely wooden thing I don't want to throw this away and I don't want to pick that out so I've got to drill a hole in the back for the cable to come out it's a, like an old fashioned gold cable so it'll look nice and what I'm going to do is, while I'm drilling that, I'm going to put a larger drill in and I'm going to literally sink this into the corner. So you'll only see the top of it like that. But it keeps that feature. Anyway, so that's a project coming up. Let's put that down there. 
Um, my brother has asked me to make one of these boxes that you sit on, that you uh, use as a drum. I think it's got a snare in there or something as well. Uh, that's another project coming up. Um, and also, I've got a special project coming up that is going to be a vase. But the actual... Um, it's going to have a texture on the outside of the vase. That's all I'm saying for now. There's a couple of you friends out there, some YouTube buddies that... Uh, that know exactly what I'm going to do because I've told you um, but you'll have to wait and see what comes up anyway, let's crack on with this um, oh hang on before we crack on with that the bulb that is going on that Jack Daniels is it needs a clean this is called a squirrel cage bulb uh, you can see the you can't see the filament, but I can it's a squirrel cage inside there um, But you'll see that when it's built Two pound fifty we've got a place down in pool where you can get all these different types of uh, really funky um, Exposed f filament is that what they're called? I don't know something like that uh, where you can get all those for like pennies We'll keep that safe for a minute. Because knowing me, I'll probably drop and break it. I don't know how it's lasted this long. Um, right, first of all, beard mail. Let's go through that. First of all, um, you recognise that? That's Claire from Making Out the Woods. Claire Mason. She sent me... <clears throat> she sent me some of her um, board butter. Now, she has been working close with another maker, I believe, um, to get this perfect. Unless that was something else. I don't know. Anyway, so she's been working on this. It's literally a board butter. Oh, it smells nice. I don't know what's in it, but you rub it on your chopping boards. I'll try that, Claire. Thanks very much. <laughs> yeah. Look at the sticker on there as well. <laughs> oh, have you noticed this up here? This is the brand new limited edition sticker. So when I've run out of the, uh, where are they? The ones over there, the, the unicorn ones. Uh, this is what is going to be going out. Uh, some of the, the, this is the GPS sticker. Okay. Um, craft resin got in touch. Um, they sent me some um, some resin out. So I've agreed to do some videos and just to see what it's like and test it and I don't know make some stuff with it. Thanks, craft resin. Um, axe axe wood paste. Um, They've sent these boxes out. Well, I think these are like um, the standard boxes that you that you can get from when you buy them. I think you get the eight ounce abrasive paste in the box, and then you get the smaller polish and restore, which is I think it's a four. It's a four ounce. I think they reduce these to four from eight because this stuff. It outlasts the paste ten times over, um, so I think that's why they've done that. So they sent me two boxes of those. I might do a giveaway. Um, look me up on Instagram, the Beard X16 on Instagram, because I think I'm not I'm not that far away from a thousand followers. I might do a giveaway one of these boxes um and something else i don't know we'll see now this is a special one this is from a friend of mine called emmet where are we yeah there it is so emmet did a um a collaboration his YouTube channel is um, Dead Rise um, Woodcrafts. 
So he did this for the Maker Swap 2020. So what happened is I sent Emmett um, a little pot from a previous video of mine, uh, and Emmett made this uh, in a video as a collaboration. He sent it to me. Um, I'll leave a link in the bottom to that actual video that Emmett um, produced. So there's a <laughs> there's a little this. I think this was a mistake or something that didn't turn out. I like it. There's it looks like there's a there's a gem inside there. But that was for the misses anyway. He sent that. Now the actual video he made. A wand and this turned out really nice two different types of wood uh, and there it is so you've got um, a crystal in the end of there this is uh, I can't remember what types type of wood it is uh... Just go, I'll, I'll leave a link down below for the video. Head over, check it out. If you've not subscribed to Emmett uh, at Dead Rise Woodcraft, give him, give him some support. He's a real nice guy. Um, so there's the wand. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Emmett. Thanks for that. Uh, pop them back in there to keep it safe. Um... So uh, a few stickers have come in. Um, there you go, Shermans. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll stick that on the board, Nathan, when I get back out there. So I'll leave a link to Nathan's channel below. I'll leave a link to all these guys below. Uh, what's this one then? I really have been really poorly, so I apologise. I've not got round to doing these yet, but um, I'm doing it now. So, this is from Neil over at. Where is it? Repurposed by Neil. And he sent a couple of stickers. They'll go on the board um, somewhere. <laughs> Sorry if I'm sniffling. I do apologise. Right, thanks Neil for that. What's this one? Oh, this is this guy. He's such a nice guy. Uh, I, I really enjoy chatting with him over um, on Instagram and Facebook and that. So, let's have a look. This guy is called Jappy. Now, Jappy is... I'm not going to read that yet. This guy is from um, from Africa, South Africa. He sent um, a couple of stickers. There you go. Sent a few of those, so they'll go on the board and probably on the lathe and um, all over the place. He's also sent this as well flag if anyone wants to send me a flag of their country please get in touch when I build the new workshop um, I intend to make a feature of, of people's flags right so that's that one oh if you're not seen that yet that's the new GPS sticker Got a stickle of those on the board as well. Um, and what's this one? Last one. So this is Dan from CDA uh, Wood Turning. Thanks, Dan. Um, that will go on the board as well as soon as I can get out there. A massive thanks to everyone that sent me a sticker. Um, there are people. Oh, what's that in there? I 
for the swim there then. Okay. Anyway. So a massive thanks to everyone that sent me stickers. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and they'll go on the board as soon as I can get outside. Um, yeah, so that's it really. I know it's not the usual video that you're you're used to coming from my channel. But now I'm feeling better. Um, I can start to get outside. Uh, and start knocking these three videos out that I need to get. Well... I need to start them and get them finished and uh, uploaded for you guys. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave links to all these guys below. My Instagram is down there. I'd love it if you come over and help me get to that thousand followers. I'll do um, I'll do a giveaway once I hit that thousand. And yeah, don't forget if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love you to subscribe as well. Right, thanks for watching guys, uh, and I'll see you soon.